Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So in the house move, I lost one of my very simple basic tools and that's a bench hook. Not a problem though, because they're very easy to make out of some scraps. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this out of plywood. So I'm gonna set up my MFT style top to get it cut. I have some nice birch ply to use. I'm gonna mark out the pieces and then use the track saw to cut them out. And I'll need three bits for this, a kind of base, and then the two hooky bits for the bench hook. Sorry, I hope I didn't get too technical there with the hooky bits description. To cross cut the bits to their final size, I'm gonna set up the Trend 18 volt miter saw and get that done. Now I've cut one bit the full length of the base and that's gonna be the hook. I've cut the other a bit shorter and that's going to be the fence to reference the workpiece against. Now, I'll talk about this later because I feel I've made a mistake, but as I say, I will explain in a bit. But I get some pilot holes drilled into these with a countersinking bit, give them a little bit of a sand and then I can get them attached and they're going to go on with some glue and screws. For the fence portion, I can get the first screw in and then pivot it on that against the square and then I can get the second screw put in. So that's it all done. Three bits of wood screwed together. So the idea of a bench hook is it hooks over the side of the bench, but I actually prefer just to put it in the vise to make it even more secure. Then you can get your workpiece on and make nice square cuts. Now, they seem to work pretty well. But they do have other uses and the other thing I like to use mine for is sharpening and it keeps the stone nicely in place. If you're interested in any of the tools I've used in this video, there's a link down below to the tools I use page. So that's it all done. Really simple little jig or tool. Now halfway through, I did think I should have done it differently. So the bit on the bottom that goes on the side of the bench or in the vise, I've made the full length. But if I'd have made it shorter, then when this surface wore out with all the cutting, you could just flip it over and use the other one. So if you're going to do it, probably do it like that, not how I did it. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.